This video contains spoilers for the leaked final boss of Splatoon 3's Hero Mode. If you do not wish to be spoiled, do not watch any further and click off now. You have 3 seconds. Enjoy the video. Well, YouTube's done it again! They filled my recommended page with leaks and spoilers that I wasn't aware of. Thanks guys! So, just over 11 months ago, I made a theory video about Mr. Grizz and his role in Splatoon 3. And of course, I wasn't the only one. Quite a few creators also did the exact same thing. However, we all seem to be very correct with our predictions. The literal first image that I saw when I woke up this morning was this. Some sort of weird Mr. Grizz thing that does not look like him at all. And straight off the bat, this gives me a billion more questions. How is he still a Grizzco? Why is he here? Which Mr. Grizz is even real? Maybe this entire time, the Grizz that we all knew wasn't actually him. Just look at the guy. He very clearly has a communication device on his head. My best guess is that the real Mr. Grizz is actually communicating to the Inklings and Oxalings through this device while he's scheming his world domination. This grizzly goon definitely looks like the main protagonist in Splatoon 3, judging by the footage that we have. So, hey, I was correct after all. It feels pretty good to finally get something right. It's also really cool to see how much my channel has evolved in a year. My editing and quality has skyrocketed in the past several months, and I'm sure some viewers of the channel have noticed. This was never meant to be a particularly long video, but I would like to ask you all this. Should I record a video about Hero Mode, or not? I mean, I already know all of the plot and the twists, sadly. So if you say yes, then I will not have a genuine reaction to some of the big moments. Be sure to let me know and why in the comments below. Aside from that though, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you're excited for Splatoon 3. Take care.